ready to pull all of our images into one compiled image, we're going to be using Bridge and Photoshop to bring them all together. In order to open Bridge, you're going to hit Command Spacebar, type in Bridge, and then you guys want to use CC19. You should have already saved all of your images into one Finals folder. We're going to select all of them by clicking once on one of them and then hit Command A. This will select all of the images. We want at least 15. I've got 21 here. But we'll be able to easily remove them when we get into Photoshop. It's not as easy to add new photos in. Once you have them all selected, you're going to go up to the Tools menu at the very top and then go into Photoshop. And what we're going to be doing is loading files into Photoshop layers. This will bring all of your photos into one file. It takes a little while because some of our photos are pretty large, so you're just going to let it load in. Once they've loaded, you want to hit Command-0, which will show you the entire image. On the right-hand side, you'll see a list of all of the layers and images along with a small preview of what they are. The first thing you want to make sure is happening on your screen is that you are selected onto the four arrows, which is the Move tool. You can always go back here by hitting V on your keyboard. You also want to make sure that Auto Select is on, as well as Show Transform Controls. This will show you the box around all of your images. The first thing you're going to do is select all the layers by dragging, clicking and dragging a box through the entire top image. So you're going to click over here in this gray space and drag a box all the way over to the other side and then release. You can see that now all of my layers are pretty much selected. We're going to take the corner box and just make them all a little bit smaller so we have some space to move around our images. Whenever you make a change you always want to double click inside of this box that transforms your image. From here you can click anywhere in this checkerboard and now you can click and move them. If I want to click on them again I can start moving them. Now at first you can just sort of pile them up how you want. You can see I've got a couple of different images over here. Now you can see that some of these are getting hidden behind the other ones. If you want to change their order, all you need to do is click on the list on the side and then drag it upwards. So really you're just going to play around with this until you find, find where you'd like it to be. You can also rotate them by hovering your cursor over the corner, right on the outside of the corner, and then rotate these. Again, whenever you make a change, you can't click anywhere else until you've double clicked inside that box. You can change their size a little bit. Now, if there's one that you find you don't need, this one I don't really need, all you need to do is click on it and then hit your delete key. You can make them smaller and then again drag them up to the top.
So as you go through this, you'll be able to move them around however you see fit. Well, all of these I want on the top. So again, I dragged a box through all of them so that I know they're above everybody else's. Okay. And then the final step is just cropping any of the extra space. The crop tool is over on the left, and you just drag a box around what you'd like to save. And then to post it in Teams, we're going to go and Save As. You can title it whatever you'd like, and then you're going to save it as a JPEG. If you want to play around with filters, you can drag a box around all of your images at the end, go up to filter. You always want to convert it for smart filters. It'll just flatten your image. And then you can play around with some of these, see how it goes. change the brush size, sharpness. Okay, so that's it.